Hi, this is Vishal and uh, welcome to the session again and today we start the pie chart Kotlin session and as you know that uh, we work with many sessions related to the charts in the Kotlin as we learn the line chart, bar chart, candlestick chart that uh, we applied on your stock charts also and uh, today as uh, we start the pie chart how we can implement that in the Kotlin it is the same examples we worked in the Java sessions so those who know that how we can work with the MP and write chart in the Java uh, that's similar about that that's good but those new just uh, watch that all the sessions list related to the charts so you can learn one by one how we can work with the Kotlin and uh, today uh, uh, just giving the same example and how we can use this kind of pie chart in your how we can make a pie data so a lot of stuffs with there and how we can do the animations with the pie chart this all but uh, one by one uh, we learn that on the basic steps and uh, before start I am giving uh, great thanks to you that uh, uh, you uh, put it the commands on my channel that's with a really lovely and those who want something in the future uh, I put it I not down all the uh, whatever be your query so I will fulfill in my coming session so thank you so much again and uh, uh, let us start it that in the Android studio how we can make a pie chart like this and how we can work with that Okay, so now let us start in Android Studio and here uh, the first important thing is as I, I told you many times you need a MP Android chart whenever you work with that and if you are new please uh, watch my previous sessions of the chart okay and now uh, then we have to go for your activity pie chart here and you need uh, as an in, in your XML path with the pie chart okay and this is a pie chart activity that's your Kotlin file and here I'm making a function that is your set uh, pie chart and call this set pie chart okay and now first you have to go for your values that's your well and first we need your x values as we have done in other charts also and this is your array list that's all your string kind and here as uh, we are making the pie chart for the natural gases call and uh, gas system so let's see how to can how we can build it uh, so this is your add and uh, you have to put your call and your x values dot add that's your uh, petroleum and the last one is we just put it copy paste it and uh, this is your natural gas just simple three things okay uh, I will explain it with uh, how we can use a uh, multiple values on that but first I want to clear it using the three values so that this is your simple uh, x chart your x values and now we have to go for y values so uh, that is your well pie chart entry and now for the pie chart entry we have to create an array list of entry kind and this is your entry points we have to put it so you can see that pie chart entry dot add and that's your entry you need to make that entry as in your 23.5 f and you need a indexing first okay so this is a zero index and just copy paste two times because of our x values be three so here uh, just very simple you can see that 45.5 and uh, 68.5 nearer and indexing is 0 1 and two. that's the most important part indexing 
otherwise it uh, never work like on okay and uh, now we have to go for a well by data set and that's your by data set and now we have to put that by entry and I, I want for you this consumption consumption entries okay and now we have to need uh, just a simple data and then yeah on your by data you can say x values comma by data set so we have to put these values on the data and now this is our pie chart so this is our pie chart dot data is your data so now first uh, we have to check this thing so that means here fill the chart simple steps so that's uh, uh, I think it's very similar as we work with the line charts also but uh, the most important thing is how we can give the colors how we can this uh, we put the segments of this pie chart now we'll see it after that but first we run this and see what be the result of uh, simple steps okay so let's see what be the output here uh, so our chart be like a simple chart be like yes you can see that a simple natural gas petroleum and a coal here okay now what to do first we need to change this pie chart color and then we we work with your radius and background a lot of things with there so one by one we follow these steps so let's see in second step uh, if you want to change the color so how you can give the color to your pie data set so you can say that you can give the pie data set dot color and that color be your as we have done many times resources dot get color and that color be your r dot color dot green at this time giving the green now see what be the result of this chart okay so let's see the example of green color so here it's a simple uh, changes on the, your pie data set that's beyond color green okay now uh, we are on one more step um, that is um, okay so if you go with your radius so I want to make it as a uh, pie chart dot whole radius and that's your 5f okay and also I want to put it the chart background color so pie chart dot your set background color just copy paste it here and I want to make it as in a gray sheet okay so let's see what be the result on this third step what be the role of this hollow radius okay so let's see what be the result here so here you can see the whole radius and also the background color be gray okay and uh, uh, now uh, we can move one step further and see the changes on uh, just like if you want to make a uh, slice spaces or other things so let's see what happened okay now uh, one more step that is how we can make uh, segments of any pie chart that means the slices okay so you can work with again dot that by data set you can say that the by data set dot slices space okay and i want this is your 3f so see that what happened with the slice spaces on your chart that's uh, also be the interesting part okay so let's see what be the output here we have a fragments uh, yeah so you can see that so that's be separately fragments here for the petroleum coal and natural gas or whatever be you want on this in a pie chart okay so now uh, let's see what be uh, the next step be here okay now one more step further uh, chart is not looking good if there be no multiple colors so 
we want all the segments in different colors so what to do for that uh, you need uh, colors okay so we can go with the colors multiple colors be here so for that uh, you can make a uh, colors and say array list and that array list we can make it as an in integer kind okay and once int be created you can see the colors dot add and at this time I'm using the color dot right okay and now copy paste it and uh, one is green and this is your blue okay and once this be clear you can just uh, copy paste that but here not using the color use the colors okay because here, here we use a multiple color series so okay so now the segments with multiple colors so let's see what be the result okay let's see uh, what be the multiple colors result yes you can say that different colors we have here so now uh, how to make a dynamic values let uh, start that we have to make just uh, the similar chart uh, we have to create uh, like uh, with the five values okay uh, here we have energy consumption and the three already we had taken then two more and how we can make a dynamic values so these all we have to work now so uh, now we have started again and here we have to put these two values you can make a loop also but at this time I'm just uh, making these values for renewable energy and uh, and this one is for uh, nuclear okay so this so total five values and now I'm making these values be as in a dynamic form so what to do for the dynamic values here you need again oh, array list for these values so you can add that y values and that y values be your array list and that array list I'm making as in a float okay and here you learn also how you can work with the float kind of array list and array so you can say this is a y values dot add and I'm making near about uh, the same okay not not be taken be as a same as on the chart but little bit so here you can make it a five values you can get it uh, maybe from your backend and these values you can say that 39 38 point nearer uh, 24 and here you can make it as a uh, 8 point 25 and here you can make it as in a 10 point 21 and here you can make it as in a 6 point uh, 7 4 nearer okay and now how you can put these dynamic values be here so for that uh, you can say this is your for so this is the way you can make a loop i comma item that's very easy and in y values dot with index okay so this is a very simple line and you can do uh, make an item and also you can separate the index using this line in a float arrays okay and uh, you can use that by chart entry 
dot add that's your entry and here you can say that's your item and that's your i so easy i think so okay now these five values you can make and these five values be here and now uh, for this we need two more colors so you can take any one uh, say magenta and yellow okay so this taken okay so that's the way we can first check what happened with this then after that we have to work with description animations and legend so let's see what be the result so see this dynamic values result here and yeah that's very simple chart uh, with the multiple colors and multiple values be here okay and now what uh, be the descriptions we have to put and how we can make an animation of this chart so that's uh, make it more interesting so now let's see uh, these functionality on the chart as uh, uh, we have seen the result now uh, we have to specify that how what is the uh, your description with there so you can say that pie chart entry sorry pie chart dot set description here you can put your description just like your energy consumption in 2021 like this or 2020 whatever you can put it out okay and uh, now you can set your pie chart dot uh, animate y because i just want with the y animation here so this is your 3000 we have to put okay uh, so that's the way we can work with this so let's see what happens so let's see what happened here yeah so you can see that animation and uh, it's very good animations whenever you work with your chart now we have to uh, put these legends on the left side what to do uh, just see we can work like uh, you can say the well legend and that is your legend and uh, I want that all on the left side okay so this is your pie chart dot legend and uh, you can say legend dot position or that is on legend dot legend position dot laptop chart okay and we put it the left of the chart and this is your legend dot i want the text color as in a resource it with white sheets uh, so you can say that this is your white okay so now what be the result we can check it so this is your final chart uh, we have implemented okay so you can see that all the legend values be on left side of the chart and that's where the white color of the text okay so that's the way you can uh, use your chart and show the animations and many things with that so uh, thanks for the day and uh, in coming sessions we'll discuss about the combinations of the chart and some other complicated charts and some user requirements also we have to fulfill so thank you so much again uh well back with the new sessions thanks